morning, everybody. John here, Small Crane Landscaping. Um, it's been a little quick video today. Might be some things that I'm going to go over. It might be common sense to a lot of people who do landscaping. Uh, but this video is more for the new landscaper that is starting out, maybe doesn't know what they should have or carry. Um, it's kind of like a basic what you need to do your landscaping uh, tools. So what I keep on me daily. <clears throat> so first item, um, I always carry my shears. It's the uh, Corona Classic Cut. I've had this pair here for about maybe two and a half, three years now. Um, really good shears, all around pruning. Um, but yeah. Good to have a shears, good sturdy pair of shears, comfortable uh, for all around pruning needs. First item on my list. The next thing, I actually have three of them here, you don't need that many of them, uh, is a Barnell 4 inch serrated sickle. Use them for also pruning, uh, they're good for like spider lilies or other plants that you know just with a shears you can't cut uh, this here these two items here when I first started landscaping is what I, sh I uh, was given uh, working at a resort and that's what they sent you out into the field with anything else you needed was like a hedge trimmer or something larger but you could do most jobs with these two items here the reason I have more than one <coughs> is I did find this Barnell with a thinner blade, about half the size of the other one. Uh, I liked it for here in Hawaii, we have a lot of spider lilies. Uh, this works for the job, it's just I found with this here, I can get a lot closer to the plant, the main plant, with a clean cut and it won't show like jagged edges or edges sticking out. So I bought this, added it to my uh, arsenal reason for the third sickle is well this one here can't tell if you can tell teeth are all worn down I use these sickles for everything digging out weeds planting little plants you know make a little hole irrigation repair dig up an irrigation line this is like the go-to tool um, so this one's been used and abused so I went out and bought a new one and I keep this one just for digging so I don't have to dull my brand new one. So, like I said, basic go-to tools, and you can add some specials or keep some old ones. You know, it's up to you. Uh, while I was doing my landscaping, I found that sometimes you know the shears can't do the job, and it's a pain in the butt to walk back to the golf cart or the truck to go get a lopper or something for larger branches. So I picked up this guy. This little guy right here. It's a Corona Tools Quick Saw. It's a very good saw. I like it. Blades lock into place. Push button. Press the button down. You can lock it in a different position if you want to do a flush cut. Or if you're in a weird angle or something. I hardly use it in this position. Mostly like this. Um, I do a lot of pruning with this saw. It's very sharp. The teeth stay sharp. Not a sharpenable blade, but it is replaceable. So this one was actually replaced. I did do some work um, recently that involved some roots in the ground. I was too lazy to go back and go get another saw. So I did use my quick saw to cut the roots to get to the pipe that I needed to repair. Um, the saw still works, the old blade, but when I do pruning, I like a very sharp saw. Uh, faster cut. Easier for me, you know, less strain on me, um, and it's cleaner cut when you have a sharp blade. So. Number three tool in the arsenal that I keep on me daily. Last uh, piece of equipment or tool that I carry around with me is a this very old fine cutting shears. Some of the detail work that. I do uh, in my landscaping, you know, this will do 
but maybe it's too big, too gaudy, or you know, you're just trying to cut some flowers or something really delicate. This is a good little tool to have. It's uh, really sharp. It gets those really soft branches, clean cuts, you know, especially when you're doing really, really detailed work. It's a good one. Uh, Corona makes some good stuff. I've had this one for a couple years now. Also carry a little sharpening stone with me. Put a little edge on my tools every time that it needs it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I did go to Home Depot. Found this nice little Velcro belt loop tool holder. And I arranged them in there so I can have them all the time with me. See three of those there. I saw my main pruning shears and my fine cut shears. All fits in there. Nice. Put on the belt loop. Need something, just reach in and grab it. And you're good to go. That's my little video for today, guys. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Some comments in the section below. Um, we'll be posting up a little later. I did get a chance to uh, demo the Eagle uh, 56 volt, I believe, arc lithium battery uh, backpack motor. I will be doing a little more testing today with it on a couple of job sites. And uh, once I'm done with that, we'll get some filming in. Um, I'll do a little review and then uh, I'll show you guys features that I like, what I disliked and if I would overall recommend it. Um, so far I've used it for a couple things and I do like it. But it'll be a different video. You guys have a good day.